In rotational grazing, step-in posts are one of the most crucial pieces of the puzzle. In this video, we're gonna walk through several of the more popular styles of step-in posts and discuss the differences so that you can leverage them to make your operation more efficient. Over here, we have O'Brien step-in posts, sun guard step-in posts with preset clips, pigtail posts, Kiwi Tech post kits, and then down here, we have our sun guard 3 8 fiberglass post. Sun guard posts are available in a variety of diameters and lengths depending on what you need and they can be customized with any kind of insulator that fits a rod post. So here we have an example of a simple spring clip where we can compress the spring and slide it to our desired height or something like a rod post insulator with a screw on back plate and we can set that at our desired height and lock it in place. There are all kinds of clips and insulators for twine, for rope or tape applications and typically, you'll be driving these posts in the ground with a drive cap to protect the top of the post itself. You can use these as a semi-permanent fixture in the paddock or pull them out and move them with you for daily moves. SunGuard posts are also the building basis for KiwiTech posts. KiwiTechs are like a modular kit that you can build to fit your application with the SunGuard post being the main fixture and then attaching feet, clips, or release hooks using KiwiTech wedges. SunGuard posts will last a long time in the pasture due to their UV coating, and they're great for customizing for any application. Creativity is really the only limiting factor. Next, we have pigtail posts. Pigtails are perfect for single strand grazing applications. They have a pigtail loop that'll hold your line right at 33 inches up off the ground. They feature a metal shaft and a two-piece foot this is a pretty heavy duty foot. It's great for getting into hard ground. One thing to keep in mind with pigtail posts is that because of this metal configuration and a metal foot going into the ground, there is potential for grounding. So if something were to knock your twine off or take it loose or lean it up against your post, you could have potential for grounding. Just keep that in mind. Otherwise, it's a very sturdy post. It's solidly built. It's great for single strand. If you like a pigtail post and you want to add more strands to it, our rod post insulators like we saw on the sun guard can be fed over the pigtail and down onto the shaft to give us flexibility for multi-strand grazing. So a very sturdy post, versatile, can do a lot of things with the pigtail. Next we'll head over to our multi-clip posts. This is a sun guard post with pre-fitted clips. The clip settings are at 8, 16, 26, and 38 inches from the ground or from the foot pedal. You can see on the one side, there's a finger hook to accommodate rope and twine, and on the back side is a clip that can hold up to two inch tape. Unlike the pigtail post, it is a fiberglass post all the way through the foot and into the ground peg. The fiberglass construction makes it more rigid than some of the other posts, like we'll see with the O'Briens here in a minute, and are typically cheaper than the O'Briens. And I use these posts quite a bit on my operation. I like them for ends or bends, because I can easily make bracing out of them using a second post and clipping this top clip around the fiberglass post, stepping the brace post into the end, and now I have a pretty sturdy brace. On my farm, I use a combination of SunGuard pre-fitted clip posts with O'Brien posts. I love how rigid these posts are for end assemblies and quick paddock moves, but I prefer to use O'Brien posts for my line posts. You can see here, O'Brien's offers three different colors. Doesn't really matter which color you go with. I like blue, especially for the winter time. It helps offset and give some contrast against a snowy landscape. You'll see here that O'Brien posts offer eight different height settings for rope and twine and four different height settings for tape. One difference to note from the O'Brien's to the SunGuard post is that it does have a full metal spike with a smaller diameter makes it very easy for getting through rocky or hard condensed dry ground. Another thing to note about O'Brien posts, they do have a lot of side to side flex, but are pretty stable from front to back. That's why I choose to use them as a line post and leave the bracing to my fiberglass sun guard posts. All of these step in posts are completely unique with their own strengths and weaknesses, and they're not exclusive. They can be used in combination with one another for the ideal solutions for your farm. You can find all these step-in posts and many more at KenCove.com.
If there are any fencing topics that you would like us to cover on our channel, be sure to drop your questions or ideas in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more fencing tips and expert advice.